Hello everyone. Now after studying the method of preparations of alkene, let's move ahead to study the reactions of alkene. Now in order to study the reaction of alkene, you must know or you must know how to think in general. Alkene has all carbon and hydrogens. Suppose we, let's talk about propane. Now looking at propane, you can cite looking at any compound in general you have to cite the the center at which the reaction would take place for example suppose I have ethene and I have told you numerous time before that a reaction is nothing but electronic exchange so for a reaction to occur a compound need to be electronic rich in electronic density and a compound need to be deficient in electronic density so that a transfer would occur. Suppose I have two ethane molecules, there will be no reaction between ethane molecules because both are electron rich. But if I have an electrophile and ethane molecule, then there would be a reaction between electrophile and ethane because electrophile is electron deficient and uh, this is electron rich. So there will be a reaction. So we can say that ethene would show reaction because ethene is rich in electron because ethene has one pi bond. So those pi bonds are loosely held can be given to any demanding compound. So ethene will show reactions. Similarly if suppose I have alcohol. Now alcohol will also show reaction because electron would be shifted towards oxygen of this oxygen hydrogen bond oxygen would be electron rich having partial negative charge hydrogen will be electron deficient having partial positive charge so this hydrogen is electron deficient so this is crying for electron so someone can come and give its electron to hydrogen so a reaction would occur because electronic exchange would occur similarly at this site also electronic exchange can occur because carbon in this R which is directly attached to oxygen will also be electron deficient so there has to be electron deficiency or there has to be excess of electron for a reaction to take place. So, But in this case we don't have any pi bond, we don't have any negative charge, we don't have any electron deficiency as well because the bond between carbon and hydrogen is non-polar because the electronegativity of carbon and hydrogen are almost the same. So that makes this alkane less reactive that so we call it paraffin also because it does not show much of the reaction so that makes this alkane less reactive so there will be very limited and number of reaction that alkane will show and we are going to study one of those major reaction but for time being you should have an idea that which compounds are electron which compounds would be more reactive which compounds would be less reactive the one which is having huge electronic density and the one which is having huge electron deficiency. Alkane having being none will not be reactive. So alkanes will show reaction only in extreme condition when huge amount of energy would be provided. One of them would be combustion. So alkane of course will show combustion but there are other reactions which alkane will also show. One of them is substitution reaction now this substitution reaction can be photolytic substitution reaction photo means light that means that this substitution can occur in presence of light this can also occur in presence of heat Suppose I give a halogen and this halogen can be chlorine, bromine and iodine. We don't take fluorine, reaction is violent with fluorine. Then a hydrogen can come out of this alkane, ethane and this X can be inserted. So a hydrogen would be replaced by X so it's a substitution reaction and that H will go and form a bond with one of the left out X in the X molecule. So this is a substitution reaction and it does not take place without heat or light. H mu uh, is the 
H mu represents light energy. It's a formula. H is Planck's constant mu frequency. It's a formula for light energy. Generally, we write H mu for representing light. So either you give light radiation, heat, or you give out heat. Bef if you don't give these, the reaction will not occur for the reason we are going to see. But for time being, this is one of the common reaction of alkene, and this reaction we have to study in a little depth, and this is the only important reaction from alkene. So uh, now before we go out, go out to study the reaction, let's let's build on certain basics to understand the reaction. First, this is a substitution reaction, and halogens are taken. Fluorine is out of the list, as we have been doing up till now, because for the reaction of fluorine, we have to moderate the reaction condition. Fluorine has to be in some form of complex. We cannot take free fluorine molecule. That's one of the reason, and we'll see if at all we have to do fluorination. What is the way out, or what is the proper method to do fluorination? Now, this reaction takes place in various steps, and I'm going to show you certain steps. And to keep the reaction simple and crispy, I'm going to take ethane. But the there would be a situation, or the there would be there has to be a discussion on the reactivity. And the pathway of reaction when the substrate is a bigger substrate and there are different number of different types of hydrogen. For instance, if I take propane, then there are two types of hydrogen. One is two degree, one is one degree. Attached to correspondingly two degree carbon and one degree carbon. In ethane, you all have one degree, so there is no question of preference or there is no. The out uh, there is no question of choosing one hydrogen over another for the substitution. Suppose I have, I have substituted this halogen on this carbon, substituting this one degree hydrogen. If the same thing has to be done here, then I have to think on this which carbon should I do the substitution on one degree carbon or the two degree carbon. So to initially keep things simple and to focus on the mechanism of the reaction, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Focusing, or I'm, I'm choosing such a simple carbon that you don't have to think about which carbon to choose. Now, once we understand the mechanism, then we'll take over this discussion of choosing which carbon later on. But let's understand the mechanism first of all, how it happens. Now, it happens in three steps. The first step, step one, this is called. chain initiation in chain initiation what happens now suppose you have given you don't you haven't given considerable amount of heat so the combustion of this will not occur but so what will happen is apart from this alkene you only have halogen halogen are bonded like this Hi each hydrogen halogen atom will have three pair of lone pair and those two would be in tussle with each other to grab more space for each other and to minimize the repulsion from each other because they are both are electron rich they have three lone pairs of electron each having repulsion among each other so to avoid the repulsion the distance between them is higher when the distance is higher then the effective overlapping of orbital is little suppose these orbitals are more close then the overlapping would be higher but in order to minimize the repulsion they they go away from each other increasing the bond this bond length when you increase the bond length the orbitals also move apart when they move apart then the effective overlapping is considerably reduced when that is reduced bond becomes weak so the point is halogen bonds are weak so on giving heat or light they will break 